Hello viewers, welcome back to our history class. The topic of discussion is organization of African unity and today we get to look at the performance of OAU. That means we're going to look at what are some of the recommendable achievements that OAU as an organization made. <coughs> now your tutor is Roger Michira, ready to take you through the performance of OAU and the station you're watching is Elimu TV where we always get to watch and learn. Welcome all and let us learn. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the achievements of Organization of African Unity. What are some of those uh, achievements that uh, are recommendable that the OAU as an organization had to do? Now one of the achievements is that it's, a greater, its greatest achievement was in the area of liberation of, African, of Africa from colonialism. Right. Remember, one of its aims it was to make sure that Africans, the African states, were independent. They were free from uh, um, the co co colonial powers. Right. So it it was very it was another recommendable achievement whereby it 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 it, uh, it played a leading role in liberating Africa from the colonialism. So it meant tremendous efforts to liberate some countries from colonial oppression. Now that is one of the recommendable achievements of all. AU. Another achievement of OAU is that it stood firmly behind the African nationalists in South Africa in their fight against apartheid regime. Now remember, during those years, uh, there was the apartheid regime in South Africa, whereby there was racial discrimination. So the Africans were, 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 were discriminated uh, because of their color, right? Talk of they had uh, different uh, learning institutions from the whites, right? Talk of um, the the, the, the school, the, 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 the hospitals, right, the residential areas, they were pushed into slums. That, that, that is where we got the, the, the largest slum in South Africa, so it was slum, whereby it was full of the Africans. So the Africans were really living in a, in a deplorable conditions in South Africa. Now, it stood firmly behind the African nationalists in South Africa in their fight against apartheid rule or apartheid regime. And remember, the, uh, the, the South Africans were delivered in the year 1992. That is when they gained their independence under Nelson Mandela. Now, also, it appealed to the Security Council of the United Nations to stop member countries from selling arms and military hardware to South Africa. Now, remember, during this time, the apartheid regime, it was at its peak, right? Now, the, 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 the European nations were selling weapons to South Africa, right? Now, the, United, the, the Organization of African Unity had to appeal to the UN Security Council. We looked at the UN Security Council there before. Then this is the council that recommended that no more selling of arms or military weapons to South Africa. Then also, OAU mediated in border uh, disputes. For example, we have always been having a, we, 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 we had a, a border uh, dispute be between Kenya and Somalia, right? There was that 117 kilometer border dispute all along from now uh, Lamu, right? As you move on uh, uh, Kenyan coast to Somalia, right? Now, this, this, these are a border dispute that Kenya and Somalia have been having for, for a while. So it is OAU that mediated the border dispute and also not forgetting the, uh, the, the border dispute between Chad and Nigeria, which was also successfully uh, solved. And again, we had specialized, specialized agencies, for example, the transport, uh, the transport and communication, postal and telecommunications, right? They had a link through the Union of Radio and Television Network of Africa. So this, this way we, ha we had the Radio Africa, right? This, uh, this led to the emergence of the radio, uh, radio, radio Free Africa, right? It was based in Tanzania. Now through that, all those tem telecommunication links were were, were put to place. Now, and also, it, man it managed to maintain peace and stability on the continent. For example, in 1963, right, there was this ceasefire between uh, Alger uh, Algeria and Morocco. It was the OAU that had to maintain peace and stability. Can we look at economic development, right? What roles did it play in economic development? So we get to realize it has contributed, it has contributed to economic development like African Development Bank. So we have this African Development Bank that looks at restoring the economic superiority of these member states, right? Those states who are, who they, they, the economy is really depriating, there is the African Development Bank that gets to give them a boost. 
And also, the OAU has encouraged regional economic and cooperation as a start of achieving continental economic integration. For example, through the OAU, it encouraged uh, the start of uh, East African community, the EAC, where we have got Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, right? We have the Comesa, the common market of Eastern and Southern Africa. And also we have got ECOWAS, which is the economic community of West Africa. Now, it's through these economic integrations that OAU had set or rather had laid down. Now, for assignment, can we get to state some of the recommendable achievements of OAU? And for reference, get to refer to the evolving world, history and government book for Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, this is your favorite learning channel, Elim TV, a station where you get to watch and learn.